Hello, let's do some socket programming in 64 bytes assembly under Linux. I'm going to write an UDP client, the equivalent of this code in C, but we're going to do this in assembly. So let's define some variables. We're going to need a message to send. This message, hello. Which is exactly five bytes long. In uh, 64 bits, we use this call to call uh, system call numbers from the operating system. We need two system calls: the socket system call and send to system call in order to be able to send messages. Okay. How do we do this? First, we check the library, and we can see that um, a socket system call has the number 41 and it requires three parameters in we have to put uh, those parameters in some registers and we see which are they so into rax we put the system call number and we need to populate rdi rsi and rdx let's do this quickly so we move into rax value of 41 which is a socket system call we put into RDI AF net which if we check in the Linux headers we can see that this value is 2 so we put here And then we have to put into RSI um, SOC datagram because we are writing UDP sockets. And the value for this is 2 as well. We need to put the flags, which are 0 most of the time, move into RDX. Zero. Okay, that's all for socket. Let's see if it's working. We assemble it. We're going to output an ELF64 uh, object file and we're going to link it using ldc.o. Okay, and now we have an executable a.out. Let's trace it and let's see yes we successfully call the socket system call with the right parameters and uh, we got a valid file descriptor which is 3 all system calls return their value into uh, RAX so now into the RAX we have the uh, socket file descriptor that we ob previously obtained using uh, the socket system call. So this SVD socket file descriptor is in AX now. Let's put this into RDI because for the send to system call which has the number of 44 we need to put the file descriptor previously into register RDI. So move into RDI Rx, which is um, socket file this scriptor previously obtained from a socket system call, and now we can put into RAX the next num number for the system call send to we have to put into RDI the message that we are going to send which is M we have to put into RSI the length of the message which is 5 in this case then we need to put few more parameters we need to put the structure and the length of the structure into 
uh, R8 and R9. Let's do this. So we have to put into R8 um, some kind of a structure, we call it S for now, and we put it into R9, the size of the structure, which is 16 bytes. And then we are going to syscall again. Syscall. Okay. Let's populate this structure as we did here in uh, C language. We do this in um, data segment. So S is uh, we have to put address family here, which as already now is the number two. Okay. We have to put the port number 4096 which is two bytes long so 4096 is actually uh, 1000 in hexadecimal okay so we put this in two bytes so this is the port number and we need to put the IP address of the local host and it's going to be we can either put it in decimal or hexadecimal I'm going to put in hexa which is F it's 7F hexa okay uh, I'll explain again what I'm going to do I'm going to put 1 to 7 dot zero dot zero dot one in to four bytes so it's going to be seven f uh, zero zero and zero one okay then we have to fill the rest of the structure with zeros we need eight more zeros Okay, now we put the address of this structure in R8 and the size in R9 and then we can call Cisco. Let's compile this one. And let's trace it. And let's see what's happening. So we did some mistakes in here don't have a file descriptor have an error yes because we overwritten our rdi is going to be rsi here and rdx this one okay let's check the web page again the first parameter is rdi then rsi rdx Compile it, linked, and let's trace it. And this time is fine. The file descriptor that we got from the socket system call is here into send to. We're going to send hello, which is five bits long, five bytes long. Flags are zero, and this is the structure that we constructed and looks fine. Let's test this program. For this purpose, I already written an. A UDP server in PHP which uh, listens on is listening on suck on local host on port 4096 we start the server here and we are starting our program without a trace this time and we got the message hello into our PHP uh, server um, that's all thank you for listening